Hello everyone, I'm Chris and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be continuing the Logix project which we started in a previous video. In the last video, I showed you the making steps of the masterboard where we will insert the Logix tags. Now we will be designing the tags themselves, so let's get started. As you may remember, we have 7 possible logic gates, so we will design 7 tags to fit on the masterboard. I used Altium Designer to design the tags and got all 7 logic gate IC CAD files from Octopart. To add these to your Altium project, all you need to do is search for each logic integrated circuit using its part reference. I introduced LED inputs and outputs indicators to each tag which helps to display the current logic combination. Each tag has 4 mezzanine connectors and yes, we suppose it to use only 2 but since these mezzanine connectors are a bit small, then using only 2 of them will make the tags unbalanced when connecting them to the masterboard and then the tags could be easily unmounted. I then transformed the schematic of each logic tag to PCB design. Now the size of the tag is very important because a smaller or larger size will produce a misalignment of the female and male mezzanine connectors and here it comes the use of the copper pore area that I made in the master board to mark the tag's placement. The same measures has to be considered for the mezzanine connectors placements. All the pull down resistors, the LEDs and the logic gate are set to top layer and the mezzanine connectors are set to bottom layer. And here is how it looks the tag in 3D view. The tags were shipped alongside the master board from JLC PCB. You can combine several PCB designs to get them shipped together and this is what I did. I also ordered a stencil for the solder paste deposit which made the assembly process a breeze. I brought my solder paste and spatula and prepared the tags for solder paste deposit. Since all the tags have the same size, I repeated the same process to deposit solder paste. Moving to the parts placing, I used the assembly app provided by Altrum365 to assist me while placing the components on the tags, which prevents me doing any misplacement or orientation mistakes. And as you can see here, the parts inserted perfectly and the tags look ready for soldering. I used this small hot plate from Miniware to complete the assembly and here is a microscopic view showing the assembly process. You can find in the description of this video all the links related to the user tools for assembly. After getting the top side soldered, I then used a low temperature profile solder paste to assemble the mezzanine connectors at the bottom side of the board using a hot air gun. When finishing the assembly, don't forget to clean the board with some flux removal solvent. Now the tags are ready to be connected to the master board. I placed the connectors in a specific way to prevent the tags from being connected in reverse. After plugging in the power cable and turning on the master board through the power slide switch, we have our Logix training gadget working. We can try several combinations using the input slide switches and as you can see, the first tag outputs are connected to the second tag inputs allowing me to produce more complex Logix circuit outputs. That's it for today folks, I hope you enjoyed the journey, more electronics videos are coming so don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Lastly, remember to do electronics every day, it was Chris, see you next time.